I found out that there is such a thing as scripts. When I visited the website for the first time, the very first thing I realized was when it showed uh, the, the biggest challenges of the 21st century, one of, out of two examples was uh, the rise of inequality. And I thought like, yes, <laughs> that's exactly what, I, what I'm into. So that's exactly the program I want to be part of. And uh, in the end, I got the chance to be part of it. I have to remember. First I asked myself what we, what we mean or what they mean, the cluster of excellence and the people behind that. What do they mean by liberal and what do they mean by script? And I find it very interesting because my first feeling in association was like, yeah, I agree. And then second came, but upon what? <laughs> so I think this is very important to, to first of all define what we mean by contestations of the liberal script and second then go for it. But yes, the liberal order and the liberal script, these are definitely things we should um, think more about as we have maybe kind of a feeling, but does liberal script mean the same for us here in Europe as it does in the United States or in Latin America? And what are the contestations and so on and so forth? To agree upon that, I think it's a very important part or it's a very important work which has to be done. I hold a bachelor's degree in political science and history of art and a master's degree in political science. And um, I studied in Kiel and in Berlin, but I was also given the opportunity to study abroad in Spain and in Costa Rica and to attend conferences in the United States and to work as an intern at the United Nations Research Institute for Social Development in Switzerland and um, in the German Bundestag and the federal headquarters of the Greens. Well, I would say my expectations go into three aspects. Um, it's perspectives. I want to I wanna get to know new and other perspectives, which I know so far. It's knowledge. I want to gather new knowledge. And I also want to contribute to gathering more knowledge about the problems we are facing. And it's networking, because I very much believe into um, synergy effects and I would like to work and exchange with other professionals, experts and people from academia that are interested in the same issues as I am. In my thesis I aim to shed light on the role of the business elite in the context of persistent inequalities embedded in the debate on um, contestations of the liberal order. Mexico was already, at the beginning of the 19th century, it was called the country of inequality. That was by Alexander Humboldt, I think, in 1811 when he said so. And what I found out, um, I mean, Latin America in general is the region of interest of mine. So uh, I, was, I was looking on data and I realized that the most unequal country, if it comes to income inequality, at the very top, at the 0.1%, Mexico ranks first and leaves other others far behind. So I am researching upon economic inequality. Um, yet on the other hand, the elite so far research upon um, this group of people is in its absolute initial stage. So employing a mixed method analysis, um, I aim to ask for the patterns and the perceptions of the elite as to gather new knowledge about their role in the distribution debate or rather non-distribution debate, but inheritance of inequality. What brought me to the topic of, of inequality, or to start one step um, before that, actually what brought me to political science was uh, when I was traveling for the first time South America. And I was volunteering in an orphanage in Santiago de Chile, and I simply realized this huge social inequalities there. So I was, I was aiming to, um, to focus and to concentrate on the social and political and economical issues that are underlying this phenomenon. So I started to study political science uh, before and I wanted to study other stuff. Um, and I'm happy with this decision. 
And what I realized that there is one cross-cutting theme going like really cross-cutting all the others. Like, I mean, economic inequality is also seen um, as or is actually framed as one of the sustainable development goals from the United Nations. And it's state, stated from them very much themselves that if we don't, um, if we don't make the, the trends we see and observe right now going into another direction avert them, we will not be able to even reach out for the other SDGs. So inequality is really the thing we have to face, we have to tackle in order to be able to solve the other problems we have and we have to face.